Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for January 11th. Today's devotion is titled, The Only King. And the Bible reading is from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod. About that time, wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose, and we have come to worship him. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this, as was everyone in Jerusalem. He called a meeting of the leading priests and teachers of a religious law, of religious law, and asked, Where is the Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem in Judea, they said, for this is what the prophet wrote. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the ruling cities of Judah. For a ruler will come from you who will be the shepherd for my people Israel. When Herod called for a private meeting with the wise men, and he learned from them the time when the first when the star first appeared he told them go to bethlehem and search carefully for the child and when you find him come back and tell me so that i can go and worship him too after this interview the wise men went their way and the star that they had seen in the east guided them to bethlehem it went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was when they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down, bowed down and worshipped him. When they opened their treasure chests and gave him, then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. When it was time to leave, they returned to their own country by another route. For God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. As five-year-old Eldon listened to the pastor talk about Jesus leaving heaven and coming to earth, he gasped when the pastor thanked him in prayer for dying for our sins. Oh no, he died? The boy said in surprise. From the start of Christ's life on earth, there were people who wanted him dead. Wise men came to Jerusalem during the reign of King Herod, inquiring, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When the king heard this, he became fearful of one day losing his position, in Je position to Jesus. So he sent soldiers to kill all of the boys, two years old and younger, around Bethlehem. But God protected his son and sent an angel to warn his parents to leave the area. They fled and he was saved. When Jesus completed his ministry, he was crucified for the sins of the world. The sign placed above his cross, though meant in, mo <clears throat> though meant in mockery, read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Yet three days later he rose in victory from the grave. After ascending to heaven, he sat down on the throne as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The King died for our sins, yours, mine, and Eldon's. Let's allow him to rule in our hearts. What does it mean for you to have Jesus as your King? Are there areas of your life where he's not? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.